my name is Yvonne Hernandez, and this is Kimberly Holmes. Hello. And um, I have a few questions for you. Okay. And the first question is, how old were you when you started playing music? Five. My parents put me in uh, piano lessons when I was five. It's one of the best things they ever did. Um, pictures of me. And um, I remember I, my mother was teaching me how to chord, and I would do this. And my music teacher, she said, stop that, stop that. Be reading your notes. She wanted me to play by notes. So. But I do both now, so that's wonderful. And fiddle, I didn't start playing the fiddle until I was 17. Oh, really? Wow, okay. Cool. So, but you're awesome at both, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Who has been your biggest musical influence? <gasps> I've had a lot of them. I think for piano, in the beginning, it was Bill Guest. He, uh, um, I met him when I was 20? No, 18, I think, or something like that. And uh, um, he said, Kimberly, it's time you learn diminished chords. So I had to sit and uh, do the whole thing. So he showed me all of that, and then he showed me the Walden Monroe tenth run and all of that. So I grew up listening to Don Messer and that style. And um, Florence Killen was uh -huh. a big influence on my piano playing. Um, um, Walden Monroe and uh, Bill Guest, I guess, in in my for my piano, it's been my biggest influence. Right. Okay. And, but then, not, it wasn't <laughs> until a lot later I met uh, Yvonne Cuvierie. Yes. And he's my favorite fiddler in the world. And then I heard all of that French style piano playing. Yes. So I've been influenced by Benoit Legault and Denny Pepin and Denny Lento and Julie Schreier. Yeah. They just, I just love their style. Yeah. It's so every, play. it's interesting how every style across Canada, both for fiddle and for piano playing, is so distinct and so unique. Mm -hmm. Even within a province, it's, there's many different styles. Oh, for sure. You, you can sure so tell when someone comes from Cape Breton. Oh, yeah. They have a distinct <laughs> style and their piano style. Oh, yeah, it's a Cape Breton piano player. Right, yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah, that's awesome. And so would you consider yourself a Cape Breton style? Piano I'm a mix. Player? I don't know what yeah. I do. I try to copy. Like, I try to copy Hilda and Joey Beaton and them, but I don't really play exactly the way I should for that, but I, I try. And then I try to do the French. Style yeah, too, yeah, so totally. I kind of, I'm mixed up, I guess. <laughs> it's a good mix. It's a good mix. Okay, so I guess you answered who's my oh, other question. Who's your favorite Yvonne, fiddler? Yvonne Curie. He yes. was at my home last week. It was the Maritime Fiddle Festival, and Yvonne and Florence arrived on Monday. He's 87 years old. He's the first one to start playing and the last one to stop. And Absolutely. Yvonne plays with such swing and such style and he makes any tune sound good. He, yeah. he has such a flair. Yeah. Like there's no one else. And I, I, I think yes, that's a French a French part. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's incredible. And his tune repertoire is he it's endless. Mm -hmm. He plays tunes like um well the simple tunes. He he'll play Cock of the North mm -hmm. and then he will uh, he'll play Tico Tico. Yes. And he'll play all the Shetland tunes and he'll play all the Scottish tunes. Yeah. And all the Calvin Volrath tunes. I know. He knows them all. He knows every single tune ever. And yeah, yeah. I totally agree. I first Who's that? Yvonne Curie. Yvonne Curie. Oh, really? Yeah. I first met him when I was, I think I was like 16 years old. Or no, it might have been even earlier than that. And uh, he, he said, Oh, you're my namesake. So he <laughs> took me under his wing yeah. and I just was like hanging out and <laughs> learning a million and one tunes with him. And so it was. He's amazing. So oh, he yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorites. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's your favorite place that you've been to um, for music? Wow. I've been very fortunate that I've um, been to a lot of places. Denmark, Japan, Shetland Islands, California, Philadelphia Folk Festival. Um, they're all, you know what, I don't think it's the place so much as the people you're with. Yes, I've been like, that's um, true. Yeah, there, I've had many jam sessions just between me and another person, and we're just in my house, in the room, and yeah. it's incredible. So Totally. Yeah, it's that's not really the place, it's who you're with. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I totally agree. Our last question for you. Okay. What is your favorite dessert? Dessert? Oh my goodness. This is always the favorite question. <laughs> I like ice cream. <laughs> I do. I really like ice cream. Especially when it's super hot. Yes. Or like right now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Hot and in a little yeah, dorm room. Yeah. Ice cream. Nice. Yeah. Between well, my dad and I growing up, we must have eaten like, I don't know how many liters of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Years of ice cream. Years of ice cream. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Kimberly, for doing this. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. It's my yeah. pleasure. It's, it's always a pleasure to play with you. It's always fun to play with you. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. And I also had a bug crawling on my face and I was like, oh. <laughs>